Hi everyone, welcome to another series where we're going to be learning about eloquent relationships in Laravel. Now in this one we're going to be learning about the one-to-one -one relationship, right? As I got a little sentence here, a user has one house and the house belongs to the user. Now I know grammatically you can probably structure the sentence a little bit different, but the reason why I've done it is for our relationships. As you can see, there is one and the belongs to now the user is our parent and the house is our child all right of the user so how do we set up that relationship in our models now in our user model all right just underneath it you can just say public function now we want to refer to that our child in our user okay so the one that is the house okay and then we can just say hey it's one and then we can just basically return the relationship when we call on the house method right here so we can just say return this as one okay then we obviously call in the model okay now in this case eloquent will assume that the relationship id the foreign id basically in your house's table will be a user id okay now if you let's say you specify that you want it to be a owner id instead of the user id then you have to fill in this parameter right here if your foreign key relation is not the owner id now let's go and fill it quickly in on the user in the house class that foreign okay it's that relationship so public function and we can just say user now belongs to then basically return this house basically this meaning the class this class right here Okay, with this belongs to the user class. All right. Now, how does Laravel know, Eloquent know, what foreign key it needs to add? So, basically, what it does, it suffix the user, the name around here with an ID like this. It basically puts an underscore ID like this all right that's basically what it done if we added let's say in this case post like whatever this is belongs to post eloquent will actually suffix it with an id like that but in our case it will be user right here so it will look for the user id so if this was a post it will look for the post id right here Okay, so obviously with the model included. So, okay, so in our case, we have the user right there. So, Eloquent will be looking for the user ID. I'm just repeating it one more time. But if you don't didn't put the user, because remember, it will just add an ID on the belongs to, okay? But if you change it to something else, you have to add the foreign key constraint idea to say, nope, please don't do that, add use the owner ID. But in our case, we're going to stick to the convention and let Laravel do its magic, and we're going to use the user ID. So this is basically, if you can read, read it now, let's go to user has one house so if we go to our model you can see the user the user right here the user class basically has one house okay and the house the house class belongs to the user so it reads our sentence out quite nicely so now the next part you would might be asked let's say the foreign key is the the ID that I'm using in our model. So if you let's say you you've used protected primary key, let's say your primary key is in our example just some key, some ID. All right. Let's say that's your primary key. Now you might be wondering, okay, but how 
let's say your convention is not you, you don't use the standard id in your column you've got another column inside your database called some id or whatever the id's name is now how would you set that now up in your relationship you can actually now you pass in still the user the id right here let's say the first column now the next column is you want to specify that some id so this is basically the relation okay and you specify the local id right there okay so this is the key in our database right here that we're referencing so which we're going to set up in a second but if you use some other id just add it as the third parameter right there okay, let me just remove that primary key okay so that's removed okay so we're sticking to the convention we're looking for the id and for the user id all right so let's go to our database and actually set up the foreign key relation so in the table obviously here will be other tables like uh, the string name and stuff like that we're not going to add that i just want to focus on the relationship right now right so how do we set up the foreign key now the old way of doing it or as some users might prefer to do it i don't know is called unsigned big integer and you're referring to the user id right here this is the user id that eloquent will be looking for when querying your database okay so the next part that you can do is then you add a foreign id okay referencing the user user id okay that the references the id on the users table okay references on the users table and then we can obviously add on delete on delete we can just say case code okay you can obviously add the up on update and all that kind of stuff as well but this is basically the basic setup all right for that but also remember when you set up a foreign key relation like this if you're referencing something make sure it is above so i'm referencing a user id luckily the user id will already be created the user's table before the houses one so if i'm referencing a foreign key right here otherwise you will get a foreign key constraint incorrectly formed now let's say we're referencing a category id and it's underneath this and i'm referencing in the houses a category id it will fail so to make sure of that you have to put it above and you can just obviously just change the date in your schema right there just to make sure it's above the categories above the houses okay that's that's just simple things that will make your life a lot easier otherwise you will might not know why you get certain errors and things like that all right so this is obviously the one way to do it i want to show you another way which i prefer to to set up my foreign keys so i'm calling it a foreign id like this now obviously we're doing the same thing for the user's id okay and in this one we're just going to say constraint you don't have to put in the parameters and we can just say on delete on delete we can just say okay skate or you can also put in as i said before on update as well it's good like this but i'm just going to constrain it to the users table okay so this is what i like to do setting up my relations compared to this all right so it's totally up to you so you can set it up this way or you can set it up this way all right now obviously if you chosen let's say you want to choose the owner id so in this case like i've explained before so when you do this okay then obviously make sure you fill it in on your owner id like here otherwise aliquan won't know where to look for that okay so let's just close it off all right so we set it up so i'm just going to delete this so this is basically what i'm going to do this is how i normally set up my databases or for like for one-to-one -one relationships all right thank you guys for watching if you like the video please give it a like if you didn't like it give it a dislike and 
yes, some constructive or positive or negative feedbacks is always appreciated as it will help me just grow as a person and yes, to make better videos for you guys. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one where we're going to be dealing with one to many relationships. All right. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Goodbye.